I'm going to show you how we do the timing. We go ahead and mark the timing marks. I don't know if you can see this or not, but we mark the, the tooth that's in line with this timing mark. The timing mark is a raised line on one of these ears in the flywheel. So you rotate the flywheel until you find the one that's got the line going across it. And we highlighted this line with paint as we did the tooth that's in line with this. The teeth don't always line up depending on where the ring gear is. So you're going to just have to pay attention to where that line is. The line is the timing mark. And then I don't know if you can see, but on the flywheel or the gear case here on the cover. And here, there's marks. And it's really hard to see through the camera. And if you can see that white line on the gear case cover that we painted. So there's going to be a couple big slashes. Those slashes are five degree marks. So one that's closest to the center, the top of the engine, that's 20 degrees. The next big line is 25. You want to time at 21, 22, somewhere in there. So we painted that 21 degree mark. There's small slashes in there. I don't know if you can see them or not. And each one of those is a degree. So you want to be close to that 20. So when you, you line these up to time it, no matter which way you're timing it, this makes your life a lot easier. Otherwise, you're really not going to know and see what you're doing. So again, that's 21 degrees. It's the first mark past the, long, the bigger hash you see there. The last hash is 25 degrees out here. And then one of the ears on this flywheel have this long skinny line on it. And you want to line that up. So as I'll rotate this, just to give you a quick idea of where it should be when you're, when you're timing it. So if you can see that, they're lined up now. If you're going to use a, a test light, that's how you're going to know when your timing is. And then if you're using a timing gun, you're going to want to see those two lines marked up too. We'll show you how to do that. You've got your screw, your Allen screw here that you twist and turn. That opens and closes the points. If you turn it to the left, it's opening the points. If you turn it to the right, it's closing. Obviously, you want to rotate your flywheel the direction of the way the engine runs, which is clockwise if you're viewing the flywheel from the front. So we're going to show you, you want a regular common test light. Nothing special, just your regular old test light. Now you need to make sure your key is on, the ignition is on. Okay, so connect your test light. If you want to put your clamp on your positive, that's fine. And you're going to turn your key switch on. Make sure you've got power to the screw here where your condenser and wire from the coil go. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you're, you're putting that where your condenser wire is and your coil wire. I'm going to show you how we time this. You want to look for your line in here that we painted earlier that's on the timing mark on the air on the flywheel. You can see it's just starting to come up. Okay. All right. And if you notice, our test light is is on and off okay back here it's on now you know you can't see but 21 degrees is basically right here we painted the mark on the gear case cover earlier we showed you and this light should go off when this line hits the 21 degree mark that we painted and it's roughly up in here but you'll notice if you watch this light it's going to go off sooner that's because it's not timed correctly and that's what happens when you use the feeler gauges, they're not perfect. So right now it's timed off. That's where your spark would be happening right now. You lost the light, the point's contacted. I would guess that's probably looking at this. We're probably roughly 26 degrees, 25 degrees. All right, so in order to fix this problem, we're gonna take this flywheel Rotate it the direction that the engine moves. And we're going to line this line up here on the flywheel to the line that's on the gear case cover that we painted up here. And when we line that up, which is right about there, we're going to want to adjust the points until they just basically make contact. That light just comes on right there. So we'll take this back. When the line on the flywheel lines up with the gear case line, this light goes off. 
because you marked it at 21 degrees. I know you probably can't see down in there. See the two of them lined up or not, but if you can see those two lines down in there. They're lined up perfectly. There's a little white dab of paint on the gear case cover on the left. And the line on the flywheel. Closing is less less advancing your timing. If you open it up, your timing sooner. If you close it, it retards it. So right there, the lines are mar marked up perfect. You're at, well, 21, 22 degrees. Now, if you hook up your test light the opposite way and put clamp on the ground, and then use this as your positive, essentially, you go back here and touch your wire where your coil and condenser are. And then now when this comes in, it gives you contact and now you have the light. Now we're past it. Now we're just about right. And that's where your spark happens, 21 degrees. So hopefully that makes sense. The next method is gonna be a little harder for you to see in video. Take your automotive timing gun, timing light, timing gun, whatever you wanna call it. What you do, you hook your negative to negative, positive to positive. And this guy goes on your spark plug wire. Careful your cores are not on anything hot. And then you start your engine. And this will show you if your lines are lined up or not. Okay, so this is how you how you adjust your timing. So it's, I don't know if you can see it on the video or not, but when this line, the white line that's on the flywheel, needs to get lined up with the white line in here again, the timing light's going to show you where it is. And I'll move this open and close the points and hopefully you'll see that white line moving back and forth and advancing and retarding. Those are the two correct ways to time and own an engine.